Hello friends, it is Running Kimono, so it is Candle Day this Friday and Saturday, so the 3rd and 4th of December. Uh, so three wick candles that are usually $25.50 are down to $10.25. So I was very lucky to, to get, use two of these 10 off of 40s, and I also got that free little gift. I got some wallflowers, but I got a really nice assortment here of candles. I got some, some candles that were... Um, just regular ones for gifting all year long. And then a bunch of Christmas candles, which are my absolute and total favorite. It, I think that the Bath and Body Works candles are hands down uh, the best out there. So I got uh, a bunch today and I think my total was like 108. And after gift cards and coupons, I paid like $8 out of pocket. Um, so that was really, really great. And I got 12 gorgeous candles. So I think I did pretty good. Sorry, uh, the focusing in and out. I guess it's that flickering when you're shooting video. I had no idea. But I'm going to show you a close-up here of my haul and then all of the scent notes of what I purchased, if you are interested. And only one of these bags per customer. That's kind of chintzy. Every uh, candle day, they usually give you, you know, uh, one for every six that you buy. But it was one per customer. Another thing that I wasn't very too pleased about was there wasn't a single one of these boxes even if it was one per customer um, I got nothing so that kind of sucks because I wanted to gift a couple of these for Christmas now I don't have that gorgeous box so <laughs> things just keep getting worse for me no I'm just complaining about nothing here okay so online as of three o'clock on Friday yes you can still buy candles are the, all the candles still in stock? Probably not, but probably a good many of them are still around. Um, so they do this virtual line thing where you provide your email and then you are given like, you know, you have to wait like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then you can order your candles. Um, but a lot of success people are having with this. So that is the one good thing about this year because um, in the past site has crashed or they sell out very quickly. But three o'clock on Friday, there's still candles on the site. And as you can see, you have to type in the code best day ever. So you get the candles at that price point. Thus, you can't use a 10 off of 40 online in concert with that. So you'd have to go in the store to get it for that price point with a coupon. And then one thing I did notice, uh, they were just kind of like fooling us a little bit. Certain scents that were there last Monday are no longer there. For example, they have a three wick of the French baguette with a gorgeous owl on it. I wanted to buy some of those online. And do you think I could find one? Nope. And it, they didn't have it that they were sold out. You just could not find it. And a couple other candles too. Uh, same story. So they, they pulled certain candles, guys. So um, yes, I noticed that. So we're just going to go through the candles that I bought. And uh, the first one is Vanilla Bean. Um, and this is the White Barn one. And I decided purposefully not to get so many Christmas looking candles uh, because... I was afraid that if I wanted to gift this, like, you know, maybe for a birthday or something like that, I just didn't want to give stuff that looked like Christmas. The uh, scent notes are listed right here. Um, so we have Madagascar Vanilla Bean, Homemade Marshmallow, Warm Cinnamon Nutmeg, and Natural Essential Oils. People wonder what the hype is and, and why Bath & Body Works. It is that essential oil that really, um, you know, it can just make a room feel cozy. And if you are a candle fan, you know how amazing these candles are. So this is the first one I got, just a plain vanilla candle. The second candle that I got was this uh, pineapple pound cake. Very curious about this one. So um, here it is. Let's look at the scent notes. Uh, we have fresh pineapple, sweet vanilla, pound cake, sprinkled powdered sugar with natural essential oils. This one is very, very interesting. Even if you're a collector of candles, uh, it just captured my imagination. I thought it was really, really cool. Anything with pound cake, if you like um, candles that smell like food, it's just a winning scent. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, burning this one. Okay, now we have champagne toast. Uh, this is just a classic winter candle. And the scent notes are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. You really get that citrus kick from this one with natural essential oils. Um, if I was gifting something to one of my girlfriends, I would definitely throw this in. This is just a fufu pink, fun sort of candle. I love it. It's just a really nice scent. My husband isn't a fan of it, but it's very, very feminine. I love it. Okay, the next candle that we have is Paris Cafe. And uh, this is a very coffee scented candle. Uh, the notes include rich roasted coffee, sugary brioche, vanilla cream with natural essential oils. This one smells a lot like coffee and I am not complaining. My husband is kind of like very, very particular about the candles that we burn. 
I could either gift this, it would make a very nice gift, or I'm gonna see what the boss says. Hopefully he likes it. So this is the same candle, just in two different packaging, and we're talking about sugared snickerdoodle. Um, I got the smaller single wick of this, and my husband just absolutely loved it. So um, I got two more. Uh, he likes to burn candles in the basement. And this is such a joyous looking candle. And the notes include um, warm spices, creamy vanilla, sugared musk with essential, with natural essential oils. And it's just a very pleasant uh, baking sort of candle. So there is no uh, complaints about that. And it comes in the beautiful um, classic Christmas one that says joy and the two little gingerbread, which I think is absolutely adorable. I also picked up three of these, which is winter. This is a very classic candle and I always try to stock up on them. I do have a lot in my collection, so I only got three of them. This is one that my husband really, really enjoys because um, it really makes the house smell like a campfire. The notes include um, white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, spiced clove with natural essential oils. The spiced clove um, scent is very, very pronounced in that, and that's what gives it that really smokiness, which I really like. Now, in the same family of the spiked clove, I wanted to get this one, which I thought might also be a home run in our household and something kind of new, which is the cinnamon clove and buds. Um, and the scent notes for this one is cinnamon leaf, clover, clove buds, ground nutmeg with natural essential oils. I don't know, it just kind of captured my imagination. Um, and it does look kind of holiday-ish, but um, it smells a lot like cinnamon and smokiness, so I think this might be a home run as well. A few of the hot buttered rum. Um, this just smells like baking. It doesn't have a boozy scent to it, um, so it doesn't really live up to its name. Um, dark buttered rum warm caramel, um, muling spices, vanilla bourbon with natural essential oils. This one is just a home run. Um, it's just a really pleasant smell and it smells like you're baking cookies. So I like that. So maybe in the comments, you can let me know what you scored today if you went to Bath and Body Works. Uh, and then I had uh, two little free items. I think it was an item for like under 13 bucks. And if you're thinking, oh, I'll just get a candle, the exclusion is you can't get a candle. It has to be a regular priced uh, sale light, a regular priced item. So I grabbed uh, two of the wallflowers. Uh, these are $7.50, believe it or not. Like, my goodness gracious. I remember when these were like less than that, like, you know, four bucks or whatever. Um, so I got two of those and I got the Tis the Season and the um, Sugared Snickerdoodle. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna head back out. I might, uh, depending what the weather is like tomorrow, I might go to an outlet. Um, and look around there because sometimes outlet, especially around here, they might have like unique candles, which I'm on the hunt for. I noticed on the website, they didn't have the usual five or six unique candles. I don't know. Um, I was interested in some of the candles, but like some of the ones like Old Faithful here, I couldn't stock up on that. So, you know, I'm kind of not happy about that because usually they, they in store, there's like five or six candles that everybody wants. Last year was like Mermaid Lagoon and that sort of stuff, but there's no real hype candles unless i'm missing it um, okay guys so this is a couponing how to save money channel so um i just wanted to show you a hack of what i have been doing um i'm not gonna spend like 80 bucks on one of these cutesy little snowmen over at bath and body works i'm gonna buy them on uh, the 26th for half price for 40 but i'm not gonna spend 80 or 90 dollars for one candle holder i have this little dutch oven or it's called a dutchy oven it was part of the green dot over at dollar general it's just a little like casserole sort of dish and it's weird because you can't put it in the oven you can't put it on a campfire but you can put it in the microwave so it's just this little blue dish and I put a, a three wick candle inside of there yeah it's not very Christmassy but it's what I have and it's paid for <laughs> I think I paid 50 cents for it but I am not spending $90 on a candle holder so um this is what I have and I'm making the most of it and uh yeah um it's creative that's for sure that's it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!